Welcome to the Bloomsbury Fitness exercise demonstration video. I'm Tristan Jovanovic. The exercises we'll be showing you today are for beginners to start working with weights safely. After watching the video, if you're unsure of how to perform any of the exercises, then please don't hesitate to ask an instructor. As always, before beginning this or any other exercise program, speak to your doctor if you have any health concerns. Here are some general tips. When exercising, make sure that you work to your full range of motion without locking your joints. When using a machine, make sure that you adjust it to your body before beginning to use it. Make sure that you use weights that you can handle, and if you need assistance, please ask one of our instructors. When using weights on a machine, make sure that as you release the weight, you allow a little bit of room at the bottom of the stack and keep your muscles engaged. It's important to breathe when you exercise. As you perform the effort, breathe out, and as you release, breathe back in. It's also important to stretch, warm up, and cool down at the beginning and end of your exercise. It allows your heart rate to go up and come down safely and helps prevent injury. If you have any questions about how to warm up, cool down, or stretch, then please ask an instructor and we'll be happy to help you. Ashley Lennox, Daniel Ayeti, Adrian Todd, and I will be performing the exercises for you today. The deadlift is also known as the safe lifting technique and is the way to pick up weights off the floor. It is also an exercise which works your quads, hamstrings, glutes and back. To safely perform the exercise, put your feet about hip distance apart in their natural position. Your toes should be under the bar, knees bent not more than 90 degrees. With your abs pulled in, grip the bar with an overhand grip securing your grip with your thumbs. Keep your back flat and your neck in line with your spine. Then lift the weights, keeping them close to your body. Make sure you stand up straight to complete the lift and pause before putting the weight back down. Take care not to lock your joints. Sit with your chest against the pad, feet planted firmly on the floor. You need to be far enough back so that you can just reach the handles, wrists straight, elbows slightly bent. Pull the handles back with your forearms parallel to the floor. Do not let your elbows drop or your wrists curve. Bring the handles back so that your elbows go past the plane of your back, squeezing your shoulder blades together. Keep your abs engaged and your chest firmly on the pad. Do not lock your joints. Release the weight slowly. Sit on the machine, feet on the footrests, your thighs on the pads. Squeeze together from your knees, using your abdominals as your legs come together. Release slowly. Stand with your feet about hip width apart and in their natural position. Keep your knees and hips gently relaxed and your abdominals pulled in. To lift the weights to the starting position, bring your elbows to 90 degrees and in line with the shoulders. Press the weights overhead, bringing the weights towards each other without locking your elbows. 
lower them slowly back to the starting position. Sit on the machine with your feet flat on the panel and hip width apart. Keep your knees bent and in line with your toes. Your back should be fully in contact with the backrest and your stomach pulled in. Place your hands on the handlebars. Push so that your legs are straight without locking your knees and release slowly. Grip the bar, securing your hands with your thumbs. Your grip should be wider than your shoulders and the same distance from the ends of the bar. Your knees should be secured under the pads, feet flat on the floor. Lean slightly forward from your hips and pull your abs in. Pull the bar down, behind and to the base of the neck. Your elbows should move towards your sides. Do not let go of the bar. Release slowly taking care not to lock your joints and your shoulders and your elbows as your arms go up. This exercise can also be done to the front. You should lean back slightly from your hips and pull the bar down towards the front instead, stopping level with your collarbone. Sit on the machine, with your feet on the footrests, your thighs on the pads. Push your thighs apart from your knees, using your abdominals to control the movement as your legs come back together. Sit on the seat so that the handlebars are in line with your chest. Your back should be in contact with the backrest and your feet firmly on the floor. Pull your abdominals in. Push the handles forward and release gently. Lie on your back, with your legs bent and your feet flat on the floor, about hip distance apart. Squeezing your abdominals in, lift your head and chest off the floor, looking diagonally towards the ceiling. Do not sit up. Keep your head in its natural position. Do not put your chin down or tip your head back. Keep your feet on the floor and release slowly. To target your obliques, follow the same form bringing your elbow to its opposite knee. Take care not to bring your elbows forward. Thank you for watching the Bloomsbury Fitness exercise demonstration video. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask us. And we look forward to welcoming you at Bloomsbury Fitness.